iOS 26 beta 8 is finally here and this summer has gone really fast. We're already on beta 8 and it's the last beta that we will get on iOS 26 before the RC version and then of course the final public release. Now even though this is the last beta and we expect it to have way less new features and changes, it is still an amazing update and probably the best update to iOS 26 in this beta cycle and I will show you guys why. Just first of all we will talk about some more new features that we have been able to discover on this beta. Now before we also get into the features, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please hit that subscribe button it really helps out a lot and first of all we're moving to safari now when you go to safari if you have the address bar right here at the bottom you notice that when you're swiping up the address bar actually will shrink well this has also changed here so the address bar now when it comes small it's a bit wider than it used to be on the previous beta 7 of iOS 26. Now another similar change will be found right here on the home screen. The padding to the dock has actually been changed as well. So the dock is basically a bit smaller on iOS 26 beta 8. So the padding around the dock, the bottom and the sides here have actually changed. So the padding is now bigger. That means that the dock is a bit smaller. And what I have been noticing with iOS 26 beta 8 is that there are actually slight changes to the blur effect on many apps, especially on the light mode. Now, if you compare beta 7 to beta 8, when it comes to the light mode, liquid glass you will see that it's actually more transparent on a lot of apps like for example right here on the app store this section right here with the liquid glass design is actually a bit more transparent now it doesn't seem to have changed when you use it on the dark mode but it has actually a slightly be a slightly better transparency when you're actually using it on the light mode you will also get a new splash screen for the stocks apps. Now this of course will differ in some devices it will show and some won't, but you will get the splash screen letting you know about the new features of the stocks app on iOS 26. Now what I've been noticing on my device is that there is also a slight change on the animation when you take a screenshot. You see that light blur that you get right there. It's actually really interesting. I haven't noticed that before on my device. Maybe it's just me and I'm thinking that it's different, but it actually looks different. You know, once you take the screenshot, you can see how the screenshot has a kind of like a different animation. So you, so you can see right there that like blur that you get on the screenshot once you take it. It's really interesting and it looks different from actually the other versions of iOS 26. Now we also have a change here on the battery, actually a fix. When you go to battery right here and just at the top where you will have the battery percentage, you have that info button. Now previously on the previous beta, it was actually broken and wouldn't take you anywhere. Now it's, it has been fixed and basically shows you the information you need to know regarding your device's battery. Now what's really cool and why I say that this is the best update to iOS 26 until now is the performance. Now, of course, we get great animations. And as you know, the animations with the last couple of betas have changed and they are actually really awesome. Now, a lot of people say that the animations are not the same or are not that good, but they're actually the same. It just differs where you open the app or actually where the app is positioned on your home screen. So if it's there, you can see we have a different animation right there at the top, but we have a different one if it's at the bottom right here and a different one if the app is in the middle of your home screen. But the performance is actually where iOS 26 really shines. Let me show you guys the score that I got on Geekbench 6 just the first day of installing iOS 26 beta 8 on my device. So this is the score right here. Now this one is from the previous beta. 
the multi-core score at 7589 and you can see the increase right here 7731 right there so we have a huge increase of about 150 points right there on the multi-core score which is amazing now this is by far the best geekbench score i ever gotten on this device even when of course comparing it to ios 18 any of the versions of ios 18 this is better than any one of them and you can see also we have an increase there of about 40 points on the single core score 2947 on the previous beta 7 the new beta 8 right there 2986 which is really really amazing now of course once you have great performance on a device you also expect to have great battery life now as far as ios 26 beta 8 goes we know that we'll have to wait for a few more days and see how the battery will perform because this is just the first day using the device with this update and it will have to go through three or four days until it basically the update settles in on the device and it shows the real performance but we can take a look at the previous performances right here so you can see this basically sums it up right here for me 104 percent battery usage eight hours four minutes so in this device right here the iphone 15 pro max with the battery health at 90 89 percent actually i've been getting an average of eight hours on screen this is of course with beta 7 and it's amazing it's really good i can't complain with this battery getting an average of eight hours is actually really really good and hopefully it will be improved with this beta beta 8 and of course with the rc version which will come uh, later of course after a few weeks so let's talk about that don't expect to see a beta 9 of ios 26 taking a look at the past years and how apple has released things when it comes to betas usually after beta 8 we have a week of a pause and then the next week after that will be the iphone event which will also be the same day that apple will release the rc version of each software that they're releasing that year in this case ios 26. now everything points towards september the 9th to be the day that apple will hold the new iphone event and that should be the day that apple also releases the rc version of ios 26. so in my opinion don't expect a beta 9 for ios 26 this is the last beta that we got and then the public release will of course most likely be the 15th of september as you probably know when apple just introduces a new iphone that day they will also release the rc and then the iphone will go on pre-order most likely right here on the friday which will be the 12th and it ships on the 19th which means that that week which we the a new iphone will ship the monday of that week will be the release of the new software that will be the 15th of september expect that day to be the release date for ios 26 to the public so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did smash the like button and of course subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one